Now I think we've heard it all. Apparently, University of Michigan students feel triggered by, of all things, wood panels. No folks, this is not a skit from a bad sitcom, this is America today. The prestigious University of Michigan, which was founded in 1817 in Detroit, has never had an issue like this in its 200 years of operation. But millennial snowflakes, who are intent on pushing the envelope when it comes to idiocracy and straight-out stupidity, today are claiming to be intimidated by the iconic main building. At a March student council meeting, a dim-witted minority student brought up the fact that herself and other minority students are intimidated by the dark wood panels, which they claim are a symbol of masculinity. Huh? The building is currently going through a pricey $85.2 million renovation, and it serves as the most recognizable building in the university. The offending paneling covers most of the inside of the building and has done so since its original building. The Daily Caller reports, universities wood paneling marginalizing minority students' academia may have found yet another source of microaggression, wood paneling. According to one activist close to the University of Michigan, the walls of the historic Michigan Union building are marginalizing minority students, the college fix reports. The glossy brown mahogany wood can be found all over the interior of the storied campus structure and is similar to patterns found in thousands of other buildings across America. Anna Wiggleman, who used to head an organization concerned about enhancing college life, called Building a Better Michigan, announced at a recent student government meeting that minority students felt marginalized by quiet, imposing masculine paneling that covers the walls in the century-old building. It's all there in the minutes from he meeting. The Union Building is described by the university as one of the University of Michigan's most recognizable landmarks. It's slated for $85.2 million in renovations and the architects are seeking the opinion of students before commencing work. The building is the site of many student organizations and Wibbleman offered her assessment as the student government considered its response. Just how did they react to Wibbleman's puzzling pronouncements about the paneling? Rick Fitzgerald, a campus spokesman, replied to a query from the college fix that concern about the paneling is not something that has been brought forward to the university as a concern from students who have been involved with developing this project for several years and through dozens of meetings. Students certainly have expressed a desire that the renovation assures a welcoming, inviting, and student-oriented building. It is their building. Fitzgerald suggested that despite isolated concerns that walls, removing the wood might entail too much questionable time and energy. Is a significant presence of wood paneling on the interior of the building and we expect most, if not all of it, will remain after the renovation. The current president of Building a Better Michigan, Jazz Test, suggested that Wibbleman might not have been talking about the wood paneling even thought she specifically mentioned it by name. I believe it was an offhand comment about how many students felt marginalized by the quiet nature of the building when they entered, she informed the college fix. Luckily it appears that the faculty at the University of Michigan lack enough funds to remove all the panels during the renovation so most of it will stay and snowflakes will just have to learn to deal with the harsh reality that is wood paneling. What the hell did the parents of Mill Niles raise? Where did they go so awfully wrong? Never has humanity seen a generation more full of dimwits, number nuts, and straight-out freaks. It's cringe-worthy to think this is the future. If a foreign force ever decides to invade us all they will need to do is show these delicate snowflakes some wood panels and pictures of a few guns and they will surrender. God help us. Hey Mill Niles, it's time to put away those pussy hats and man rompers. Cut that stupid looking man gun and man up to what the real world is. Because if you are scared of wood panels, you're in for a hell of a tough time in real life. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.